Hi, it's BB again. Uh, it's almost 12 o'clock, and I'm just watching a movie and uh, getting ready to go to bed. And I have a ceiling fan, a ceiling fan. And I had it on, and I'm not sure. It's like if somebody is up there or they crawl up there. I don't. I don't know. I can't get up there. It's a. It's, it is a like an attic, a crawl space up there. I'm not sure, but suddenly the smell of feces, like just really strong feces, is all over. You know, right now it's just permeating. And her voice is, is in my head telling me it's all over my apartment. She gets a kick out of doing this. And she does this like when I'm about to go to sleep. Like I said, one of the things that they do, they attack sleep. They don't want people to go to sleep. Because when lo loss of sleep for such a length of time, like two a month, three months, even a week, constitutes the nerve problems uh, it, it just basically puts your whole immune system on the floor and all the are all the areas of your life start to suffer because you start to your nerves get frayed really badly you get angry quickly you get just jumpy you get startled you get just, you're on edge all the time. But at the same time, with everything else, you're in that state of mind. Think of yourself like that. But then everything else is getting attacked. Your, your business, your, 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 where you live. People are starting to believe you less and less because they don't see it. They're not there all the time. They don't see the harassment. Um, the first thing they look at is why would anyone harass you they just dismiss it they minimize it that in itself causes a huge strain on you it causes a huge strain to be minimized and to be just dismissed by the people who you respect and you want them to believe you it's very important when we're in this state of mind to want them to believe us to, to just want somebody to believe this is happening to us until we do get to a point where we don't care anymore we know what is true and this is not because we build up some energy because what we do is we build up like like when a person is really schizophrenic or a person is really bipolar what they will do is that they will build up this energy like a person who's on crack or cocaine you see them being arrested and they look like they're in a world of their own. They're resisting arrest, standing strong, acting like they're not there anymore in the world, in this, in this plane, in this state of being that you and I would share. They're, they're out of it. They're, they're living in a different state right then. And in their world, they're right. They're invincible. They're strong. They're you know whatever goes on in their heads but I'm not talking about that I don't do drugs I don't drink alcohol I'm not one for you know I, I just don't do it I'm not knocking it but it's just not my thing it's just not my thing I, I, I'm more of a a worry wart to me alcohol and drugs kind of cut down on my worry time I, I don't know this is what I always tell myself it, it's just not my thing and I'm not talking about even recreational drug use. The only thing I've, the drugs I've, drug I've ever used was some marijuana. Uh, I drank beer uh, and some vodka and some gin, but that's about it. And that's like, the last time I drank was like a year ago. I had one six pack for the whole of last year. I'm not a drinker. I'm just not. So, you know, it's like I, I can rule that out. And I know myself. I've analyzed myself to death. It's not a mental problem. I know what, what, what it would sound like if I were hearing voices. This is... Hearing the voice in my head, but it's combining with physical things around me. That's no joke. 
that is real 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 that's the real reality of my life but this is what she does or, or who or, you know whoever I, I know who it is I just don't understand why she keeps doing it to me and why is her family still allowing her to do this to me if they are part of it I don't know this woman and I never we were never in a relationship we never really had much of a friendship I don't know anything about her I don't as God is my witness I don't know anything about her I don't know I, I don't know anything about her but apparently she knows a hell of a lot about me apparently she knows a hell of a lot about me too much one would say but I guess what she knows is how to steal money from me and not get caught so but to get back to my point is like I, I bring this up every time because I know how it sounds like you, you're in this zone you're zoned out you're, you're in this zone by yourself and you think that everything is, is going one way you think that you're just um, you know you're right everything seems normal it's like, like your head is just I don't know what it feels like because I've never been in that state of mind but I've been in denial state of mind where where, where, where I would be uh, uh, doing something knowing what I was doing was wrong knowing what I was doing is detrimental to me but I was living in a sort of denial and not wanting to deal with reality I know what denial is also this is not denial this, this is not, I wish this was the state of denial and this was all just crap going on, but this is very real. This is not that state of denial. This is not that state where I've created this energy and I'm like some full-blown uh, drug user and I'm living in this fantasy in my head. Uh, I don't, that's not me. So the only, the only, the third possibility is what's happening is real. She, I think, uses drugs, and I think that she is going to go for that one. Like, she's living in this world, this cray-cray world that she created. But if you could do something for over a year consistently, day after day after day, and orchestrate something to this extent, that's not crazy. That's a person who is pretending to be crazy, and they know exactly what they're doing. That's just in my humble opinion. I'm not a psychiatrist. But I would have to argue that point. She knows exactly what she's doing. It was not a random thing like every other month she hit me up once. She does something, you know, out, out, out of the ballpark. Something stupid like, you know, no. This is day after day, night after night, day after day for over a year. And I was watching a fellow YouTube, on, uh, who, somebody who subscribed to my, to my channel. And he was saying the same thing. They actually pay people to do this. They pay them by the hour. I, this just boggles the mind. They pay people to do this to you. People actually take money to do this to you. They have shifts. They work in shifts. Where do you find these people? Who, do you advertise on Google? Why does Google allow that? I don't understand. Where do you find them? I, but... Regardless of that, the smell of this, this, this smells like poop and it's in the air. Um, I have a neighbor across the street also. She came into my house and she said the same thing. It smells like poop. She smells like poop, so I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you and to let you know no matter what is going on, just, you know, let's band together. Let's try to figure this out, but mostly... We have to find a way for police and law enforcement to take us seriously. Because this is it's not going to just wrap itself up. They need to start helping us. They need to have stricter rules to deal with these people. And when they catch them, to have harsher punishments for them. It's, this is not right. They, they, they're basically making prisoners of us. They're making prisoners of us. And this is... I feel like a prisoner because my finances are shot and it's because of her it's not because I'm lazy I want to work 
That's my business. I created that from scratch. I'm capable of making over $100,000 a year. I've done it easily, effortlessly, because that's what I love to do. Now, every time I set out an ad campaign, somebody just messes with it and nothing happens. And I'm left in the lurch. I'm just wasting money on the ads that are being eaten up and I'm not getting any paying clients. So, I don't know. But anyway, this is what's happening to me. And then when I go to sleep, I'll smell something. It's like, it's like something acidic. It's very acidic. It smells like vinegar or chlorine or kerosene. Anything that gives off really strong fumes is like it's trying to attack my nose. Trying to attack my nose, like my, my sense of smell. But mostly I think is what it is, 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 is my brain. They want to attack my brain, my thinking faculties, to make me confused, befuddled, muddled, unclear in my thinking, to just clutter my mind. And of course, to cause an aneurysm, because it's also affecting my respiratory system, upper and lower respiratory system, which the heart muscles are starting probably to harden at this point. This is what the, the guy was saying when I watched him. That's what he was saying. He can, he can feel how his body was deteriorating. And it lasted for some time. So please, if you know someone who's going through this, don't kick them out in the cold. Don't just dismiss them. They need your help. I need your help. I know you don't know me, but we're all in this together. And if there's anything I can do, even if it's just to talk to someone to make them stronger, just... Tell me, just let me know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I just want, I, I know what it is to have someone in your corner at this time. How much that is needed, that human being, that one person who will believe you because they understand what you're going through. So let me know. And if you can offer any advice on how we can get law enforcement to take this more seriously, please let me know. Just wanted to share this with you because this is what's happening right now. Peace out.